If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you just picked up one of these guys, a digital multimeter, AKA voltmeter. I'll walk you through how to check your battery, how to check your stator, and how to check your ignition coil. I'm Grease, you're watching Grease's Garage, and I'm gonna help you skip the struggle. The best place for us to start is right here with the battery. This is the battery that I pulled out of my motorcycle. As you can see, it's a pretty small battery. When you're running kickstart only, you don't need to use a battery that's got like 300 cold cranking amps. For example, this is a Harley battery, a stock Harley battery. This is the one I run. You can see the size difference there. It doesn't matter for the sake of this test which kind of battery you have, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in close. We'll get a little top-down view so you can see exactly how we're gonna do this test. So, go ahead and grab your voltmeter. If you've never seen one of these things before, go ahead and turn it on like that. You've got two wires coming out. This is your ground, this is your positive. So, on this meter, when we're checking battery voltage, you're gonna to wanna to go here to DC volts. That's DCV written up here. And then I'm gonna set it to the lowest setting on mine, which is 20. So this is how you wanna have your voltmeter set. DC 20, set on the voltmeter next to your battery. Go ahead and put the positive on the positive, negative on the negative. And you can see we've got 13 volts on here. So 13 volts means this is good. You wanna see anything 12 and a half and up. So we know the battery is charged. The next step from here will be to put your battery in your motorcycle, fire your motorcycle up. And while it's running, you wanna see minimum 13.5, if not 14.5 on the voltage. If you're not seeing 14.5 or 14 on here, then your battery is not going to charge. It means your bike is gonna run basically like a power wheels until it dies. When it's out of battery, that's it. So fire your bike up with your battery in the bike and look for 13.5 to 14.5 on your voltmeter. And that's it, that's how you test your battery. The next component we're gonna test is our ignition coil. Super easy to test. I've got mine pulled off of the bike right here. And you can see it is a standard Harley style ignition coil. You've got two plugs for your spark plugs and then you've got a terminal on each end of the coil. So. Grab your coil, you wanna make sure that it's disconnected from the bike. You don't have to remove it completely like I did for the video, but if you have the wires and the plugs going to it, you wanna to wanna to disconnect all of that stuff before you actually do this test. Now I'll go ahead and bring you over top down view so I can show you how we test it. All right, so here we've got the coil. Like I mentioned, this is a standard Harley style coil with terminals on each end and two spark plug ports right here. Again, this is a five ohm coil because I'm running a points ignition. And I mentioned that twice, just so you know, when we do this first test across the terminals, you need to know what your coil is rated for. So let's go ahead and take our voltmeter back out. And for this test, we're gonna look for this little horseshoe icon down here. This is our ohms. And we wanna go on the lowest ohms setting, which in the case of this voltmeter, you can see is 200 right down there. So I've got set on ohms 200. Go ahead and set this down right here so you can see it. And we're just gonna come across these two terminals and we're looking for at least five ohms, being that this is a five ohm coil. And there we are, we're at 5.2. So we know that this five ohm coil is good across the terminals here, but now we need to check across the terminals here. And we're looking on this reading for a reading of at least 10,000 or more. So. What that means down here is we're gonna to have to make an adjustment from 200, we're gonna go two clicks over there to 20,000. So now we've got the ohms set at 20,000 on your meter. Go ahead and set it back down. And again, we wanna see 10,000 or more on this reading. So let's see where mine is at. We are at 16,000. So. We've got 10,000 or more across the plug terminals. We've got five ohms or more across the wire terminals. So we know that our coil is good to go. That's it guys, testing your coil is super simple. All right guys, so for the first test, I showed you how to use DC volts to check your battery. In the second test, we used ohms, which is a little horseshoe down here, to check our coil. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use this setting down here let me get the pointer, this one right here, which is continuity. It looks like a little waveform icon. So you're gonna go ahead 
click your multimeter over to the continuity setting and I'll show you how to use this to check your stator. All right guys, so I got you pulled in on the side of the bike here and I'm just gonna direct your attention to this little plug right here because next we're gonna check the stator. The stator is under this cover right here and this little plug goes from your stator to your regulator rectifier. So in order to test the stator, we need to pop this plug out. You can go ahead and put that aside. And now we're going to use our multimeter to check the continuity in here. All right, guys, so we've got our voltmeter set to continuity. And now we're going to go ahead and check the two terminals on our stator plug. So to do this test, we're going to take our hot lead. This is going to go into the lower terminal. And then we're going to take the ground and put it to frame ground, which in my case, I'm using the engine fins. Now, as you can see, nothing is happening with the meter. Remember, if these two were to touch, you would start seeing a continuity reading across that end. So when we plug this in, in this end of ground, this means that that port of our stator is not grounded, which is good. You do not want it to ground. Next, we'll pull it out. We'll go into the top plug. And again, no reading on the meter. This is what you want to see. This lets you know your stator is not grounded and it's good to go. It's that simple, guys. Three tests to run on your bike to make sure that you are ready to go for riding season. If you want to make sure your tools are ready for riding season and you want some place to put this little voltmeter, go and check this video out where I did a full rundown on how to build a custom tool roll for your specific motorcycle. Catch you guys next week.